What's going on guys? By popular demand due to a voting poll that I had on my channel, I've created another Christmas inspired lighting design for your guys' Razer keyboards. What I came up with this time was a Santa hat that has a little bit of animation to it, as well as uh, some other effects such as ripple, reactive, and a little bit of star lighting. I'm not gonna waste any time with this one, I'm just gonna get straight into the video and how I made it. Please, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys don't miss out on future keyboard lighting videos. This one is Santa Hat. All right guys, to start this design, I just started with a static layer and I applied a dark red color all over all of my lighting. And then you want to hold control and go back through and just select the outline of your Santa Claus hat, which will be these ones right here. Once you select those, just hit the delete key. And that's all you have to do for this red background layer. Next, what you can do is the Santa Claus hat color options. So we're going to start off with a red. So go ahead and add a brand new wave layer, grab this layer, bring it to the bottom and then with this new layer selected, hold control and just select all of these keys that don't have a lighting effect on them. Click on your color dropdown and to do the red, I chose a two-tone color here. And you wanna do red on the left side and you wanna do red on the right side node. And just angle that down at 180 and then everything else can stay the same and hit save. To make multiple different color backgrounds, all you do is right click and duplicate this wave layer drag that down below as well we're going to actually double click on this first wave and rename that to red because that's our red background with this background here we can leave it on wave and i'm just going to double click on any key and then i'm going to click my color drop down and change it to a wave pattern here and just hit save and right now i have it angled down but you can angle this at whatever you want you can angle it over here to the right uh, hide your red layer so that you can see what's going on. So here I would have a wave colored Santa hat. I can duplicate this wave layer again, drag that down. I'm going to rename this to blue. Make sure you hide the wave layer. And then with this blue wave layer, just double click. And I chose the three tone color option here, blue for the middle light blue for the sides just like this this will give you a blue tone color hat so you can do this and make as many colored Santa hats as you want um, I'm just gonna stick with these options right now I'm gonna hide the blue layer and the wave layer and I'm going to unhide the red layer and we're gonna start finishing the Santa hat so go ahead and add a brand new wave layer and with this new wave layer, we're going to make sure we have that selected. Select these bottom two rows and similar to how we did the red, we're going to make a two tone white color, white on each side, just like this for the bottom. That looks good there. And now we're gonna get into the animation of the hat. To start the animation of your Santa hat, you're gonna select these two keys right here Click on your color drop down, and we're just gonna choose a five tone color like this. Delete the outside nodes. And real quick before we finish with this, we're gonna click back on our static layer. We're gonna copy this red color that we made for our dark red background. Copy the hex code here. Go back into your wave. Select these two keys here. Click your color drop down. And we're gonna make these two outside nodes here that dark red color. So that one and that one. And with this node in the middle, we're gonna just drag this all the way over to the left and we're gonna make it a white node. Click the plus sign to make a copy of that and drag that tight to this one. I'm gonna angle it down at 180 degrees so as you can see, these two keys that we just lit up, they're not in sync. They're lighting at different times. To make those in sync, click on one of them, click on your color drop down, 
select this red node and change the last value by one. So by doing that, it makes them different and it makes them start at the same exact time instead of sharing the same wavelength. So that looks good there. I'm going to copy this bottom one using control C and I'm gonna paste that into this next key over. With this next key selected, I'm going to click on my color drop down, and I'm just gonna drag my color gradient and my nodes over to the left a bit. And I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it into the P key here. With this P key selected, I'm gonna click on my color drop down once again, and I'm just gonna make this white part a little bit smaller. I'm actually gonna click back on this key here and I'm going to make this light all the way. I'm gonna delete this left node here and I'm gonna have that white all the way to the left. So you only have a small section here for this one key. So for this key right here, we're gonna click on the color dropdown and we're gonna hit the addition symbol on this one to make a copy of that and we're gonna hit the addition symbol one more time and we're gonna make this node right here white just like that and we're gonna close that and tie it to there i'm gonna click on this key here and just kind of drag this in just a little bit here i'm gonna hit the addition symbol twice just like i did on that last one and once again make this a white key or white node and we'll make a little bit of space right here so I'm gonna click on this key and I'm gonna copy that effect and paste that into my backspace key and I'm going to delete that node and delete that node as well and for this one I'm going to leave it red I'm gonna add in a new node and that's going to be white and I'm going to delete these two nodes over here on the right. So you can see you kind of have some animation effect. I'm going to drag this out a little bit to make it look like it's lasting a little bit longer. Perfect. So I'm going to copy this backspace key and I'm going to paste it into these two keys up top here. And with this one, I'm going to click on my white node and add a new node. And then I'm gonna add one more. And with this, <clears throat> this last, the far right node here, we're going to copy the color of the dark red and we're going to paste it into that far right node. So just kinda give a little bit of red space over here on the right. Also drag in the left a, a bit over here, just like this and hit save. So now looking at your white space here, you kind of have a white tassel that's kind of moving back and forth. So I'm gonna copy this key right here and I'm gonna paste that effect into this minus key. And instead of using white, I'm going to use a red color for my hat. For this F10 key up here, I'm going to click on my backspace key, copy that effect paste it on the F10, similar, just replace the white with the red. Hit save. So here you can see you kind of have a little bit of movement to your Santa Claus hat, kind of like it's flapping in the wind. Also with this design, I added a starlight layer. So go ahead and add that and hold control and select all of your keys that don't have the Santa hat animation on there. Go ahead and click your color drop down and for this I chose a really dark white color that way it didn't inflict too much with the keyboard lighting. Another effect I put on this design was a ripple layer. Go ahead and click on that ripple and same thing select all of your keys except for your Santa hat animation and click your color drop down and you can make this whatever you want. I chose green, just like this, just a single node green color. And I made my width percentage 100. And I also slowed my speed down to about four. 
And I think that's it guys. I think that's all there is to this design. Thank you guys so much for watching and here's the preview. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and bell icon if you haven't. Please don't be afraid to leave a comment in the section below for any requests you might have. Comment on the video that I made. Let me know what I'm doing well, what I'm not doing well, anything like that. You can also follow me on my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and I even stream on Twitch every once in a while. Please go check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.